sign. Group of points in a straight path extending both sides infinitely from a line. Line segment Part of a line with two end points. It has definite length. Ray A part of a line which extends infinitely in one direction only from a point is a ray. The point is called the end point of the ray. Angle Two rays or line segments with the common end point form an angle. The common end point is called vertex of the angle and the rays or line segments are called arms of the angle. The unit of the angle is a degree or radian. Types of angles An angle whose measure is between 0 degree and 90 degree is called acute angle. An angle whose measure is 90 degree is called right angle. An angle whose measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called obtuse angle. Collinear points. The points which lie on the same line are called collinear points. Example, in the figure above, points A, B, C, D, E and F are collinear points because all the points are on the same line. Non-collinear points. The points which do not lie on the same line are called non-collinear points. Example, in the figure above, points A, B, C, D, E and F are non-collinear points because all the points are not on the same line. Circle It is the locus of a point which moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point is always constant. Center The point at which we put the needle of the compass for drawing the circle is called the center. Radius. The distance between the center and the periphery of the circle is called radius. All the radii of the same circle has equal lengths. Diameter. A line segment passes through the center of the circle and whose end points lie on the circle is called a diameter. Diameter is equal to 2 into radius. Chord. A line segment which joins two points on the circumference is called the chord of the circle. A diameter is the longest chord of the circle. Arc. Any part of the circle is called the arc. Semicircle. Half of the circle is called the semicircle. Triangle. A closed figure with three sides forms a triangle. Characteristics of a triangle. We can draw a triangle only when the given three points are non-collinear. Triangle has three vertices, three sides and three angles. Examples. In the figure, there are three line segments in the triangle ABC, namely AB, BC and CA. There are three vertices, namely A, B and C. Angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle 
BCA is equal to 180 degrees. There are three angles, namely angle ABC, angle BCA and angle CAB in given figures. We name the triangle shown in the figure as triangle ABC and it is written as triangle ABC. The symbol which is like this stands for a triangle. Note triangle ABC can also be denoted as triangle BCA or triangle CAB. Properties of the triangle The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. AB plus BC is greater than AC. The sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Classification of triangles Classification of triangles according to sides. If all the three sides of a triangle are of different lengths, the triangle is called a scalene triangle. Example, the triangle in the above figure is scalene. If at least two sides of a triangle are of the same length, the triangle is called as isosceles triangle. In this triangle, two angles are same. Example, the triangle in the above figure is isosceles. If all the three sides of a triangle are of the same length, the triangle is called an equilateral triangle. In this triangle, all the three angles are of 60 degrees. Example, the triangle in the above figure is an equilateral triangle. Classification of triangles according to angles. A triangle in which all the angles are acute is called an acute angle triangle. Example, the triangle in the figure is an acute triangle. A triangle with one obtuse angle is called obtuse angled triangle. Example, the triangle in the figure below is an obtuse angled triangle. A triangle with one right angle is called right triangle. Example, the triangle in the figure below is the right angled triangle. Quadrilateral a quadrilateral has four sides, four vertices, four angles and two diagonals. The sum of measures of the four angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Type of the quadrilateral Parallelogram a parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. AB is parallel to DC. BC is parallel to AD. Rectangle A rectangle is a parallelogram in which all the angles are right angles. Angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degrees. Square A square is a rectangle in which all sides are equal. AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. That is, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to angle D which is equal to 90 degrees. Rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram whose all sides are equal. AB 
is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Trapezium A quadrilateral is called a trapezium if a pair of its opposite sides are parallel. AB is parallel to DC.